count all the same in the standings, but there's something special about the number one team in the country with the what what Duke is having them come here in your home court. Um, it's just the the fact that they're number one um, puts an extra emphasis on the game. Um, we already know they're going to come in. They're high flying athletes, and we have to stick to our game plan and put on a show for our fans. They've always had a bunch of McDonald's All-Americans. Is there something that makes this group unique or different from some of the other teams that they've had? Um, not necessarily, just just that they look a little more bought in than years past, and um, they really attack on the offensive end and really out, get out and rebound. So They don't mind playing fast in transition. That's what you guys like to do. Is it a fun stylistic matchup where, you know, two teams who kind of want to play in a similar fashion? Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun for us. Get out and run. Um, and when it all comes said and done, just who scores the most points? Trying to guard a guy like Zion, you know, he can dominate in the paint, but he can also pop out and shoot the three. What's the biggest challenge in defending him uh, for you guys? Um, just not let him get going, you know, contest every shot, challenge every every layup, dunk, you know, uh, don't let him see nothing easy. That's just our main focus on it. How have you talked to the young guys about just, uh, I mean, they've done a good job of taking kind of things game by game, but now that Miami game's out of the way, what have you told them about a big stage, a big game like this uh, against Duke? Um, we told them it's just another game. Um, you got to go out here and play as hard as you did the last game and the game before that and leave it all out in the court. You know, they have to step up when when they're needed. And right now we need them. Thank you very much.